Good morning, folks. Good morning. Good morning. Always so nice to be up here at Catholic TV, but so nice to be here worshiping together, and especially this close to Christmas. We uh, build up in that anticipation to the great joy that we have on Christmas Day um, when Mom makes the whole dinner and serves us and cleans up afterwards. <laughs> I'm sorry for those who are not in the studio. My mother's here. That was a message to her. But no, we do, we have, the, as we come here, we come with great happiness in our faces because we know we have a celebration that we're just about to, to uh, enter into, and that's Christmas Day. How well we have the, uh, uh, the Canticle of Mary uh, is our scripture today. And that first reading uh, that comes, from, him, uh, that comes um, from Samuel, and it's the story, uh, um, and it is the story of, um, of Samuel himself. Now Hannah, it's an interesting story, you know, he's married to a husband, but the husband has two wives. And one of the wives had many children, and Hannah was barren. Now, can you imagine being one of those two wives? Which one was the one that was favored? The other one who gave all the children. And so, but Hannah was really the husband's favorite. Of course, the other wife didn't like that. So what do you think she teased Hannah about? Being barren, Being barren not having children. I mean, this other woman, you know, because she didn't have confidence, she went off there, and she really gave Hannah a real hard time. You know, she felt probably insecure, so insecure about her relationship with her husband, and what did she do? She chose to try to do something worse to the other wife inside there. But Hannah was one who had a great relationship with God and was very, very faithful inside her life, extremely faithful. Now, she couldn't understand why it was she was barren because she had a great relationship with God, and she prayed to him, and she trusted him. But when she continued to pray for a child and it didn't happen, how do you think she felt about her relationship with God? Confused, because now here she is somebody who's very faithful in giving and undertakes the Ten Commandments that God has treated her. She loves God beyond all telling, and yet where is she? She is without child. And the other wife isn't living out the Ten Commandments, isn't really the nicest person, and she has all the children. Of course she'd be confused. Anybody would be confused. But she doesn't become what she could have become, cynical, angry, uh, distrustful. She could have had all those, and she chose not to. She went before the Lord, and she said to the Lord, you know, please give me a child. I'm trusting you, and this child I will give back to you. And who did she have? Samuel. Yeah, Samuel was one of the last judges uh, in the Jewish tribes. He was also one of the fir first great prophets as well. Can you imagine that? She ends up having a child, and the child becomes great in the Old Testament. The payoff for being very trustful in God. He always provides. Sometimes we don't know how he's going to do it and when he's going to do it. But he always, to those who are faithful, God promises abundant blessings that he will heap upon us. Maybe not in our time, on our time schedule, but on his because he knows us better than we know ourselves. And he knows when we need something and we don't. And we need to be trustful that. We go to today's gospel. And what do we have in today's gospel? We have another woman going before the Lord. But in this case, the Lord has come to her you know, and has spoken to her and tells her she, she's going give, to give birth to the Son of God. Oh my God, can you imagine that? Not just going to give birth, but gives birth by the Son of God. And not give birth just in the regular way, but she was going to conceive of the child baby Jesus in her womb through the Holy Spirit. That was a first for the world. That broke all scientific records. That is one of the great miracles that happened. One of those, uh, 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 something that happened that we can only understand in mystery, we can't fathom or explain in those other ways. But how beautiful it is that as a Christian country and a Christian people, that this is what we believe, that she did conceive of the Holy Spirit. 
and she gave birth to Jesus. And here we hear have her singing God's praises, saying that she's the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to thy will. And there she's going off, and she's speaking about how she's serving the Lord. What I like really in this, in, as we come to the end of this gospel, as, as we listen to it, what do we hear? That she is now, though pregnant, she's going off to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who's pregnant. Now, most women, when they first find they're pregnant, they think about how they're going to take care of themselves and all the other things that would come with it, and I would probably understand that. What does the blessed mother do? Nope. First thought is, my cousin's pregnant, I have to take care of her. And what a great example that is, that as we hear inside here, we hear the, uh, when we hear these blessings, how are they received? They're received first with thanksgiving, and then with service inside, inside her life. What a model to us. Look what Hannah brought into this world because she trusted in the divine providence of God. Look what happened in this world because the Blessed Mother trusted in the providence of God. Look at all the joy of the world that has come inside here because of it. Now, folks, I realize something. I realize we all go through times in which our trust in God isn't where it should be. When we're going downhill and we're down there in the valley and we don't think things are going to think things are going to get better. When we get sideswiped by something we weren't expecting, some horrible news, some tribulation inside there, those are the moments in which we can get derailed. But if we're faithful people in the good times, then God's going to keep that faith with us in the bad times. And we're going to be able to rise up and receive God's abundant blessings. And why? Because of the great faith that he offered us but which we grasp. And so today is a day each one of us who are amongst the faithful should be very thankful to God for the great blessing that he's given to us in our faith. Amen. A little premature, but have a Merry Christmas.